Who's that ugly mug? <laughs> folks and welcome to Gray's Trains. My name is Gray and uh, this is my train. So I've decided to do one of the career scenarios that's available on the West Somerset Railway uh, using the Class 33 that comes with. Uh, this is um, by the wayside I believe. Uh, so nice cinematic camera. I like a cinematic camera. It shows effort. There is Mr. Man with his cup of tea. Nice. Good morning. The task today will be to drop off supplies at various points along the line for the engineers and workers. Each site is out in the country, so watch for the approaching site crew. Try and stop close by the workers to allow efficient offload of supplies. Those are methods to continue. Okay, okay. You got a bee horn, that's nice. That's just ten mile per hour speed, isn't it? And away we go. So this is um, going to be quite a slow uh, scenario, I think, um, just because of the very nature of it. Uh, so it's basically just a slow run up to um, various stops along the line. And again. We can hear the benefits of the Steam Sound Supreme uh, Wagon Sound Pack. Is that my signal? Is it? No, it's not my signal. It's a backing signal! Oh, there we go. Okay, so worksite one is in two miles. So let's open her up a bit and um, then get there. Those workmen, they need their supplies. Brrr. And this is where a career scenario really is annoying because of the fact that you're limited to speed limits, absolutely limited. Because if you even stray above them for even a second, you are deduced points. Also, I have a man in that cab. Do I have one in this cab? Yes, I do have a man. I've got two men in my cabs. Ooh, there's a little, nice little lens flare effect. I wonder how that's coming uh, across on the video. Because I have noticed that bandy cam tends to make the colours look a little bit more washed out. Thrash. Well, as I said, this is um, a scenario that actually comes uh, with the with the route, and this engine comes with the route as well, as well as a uh, modified hall, uh, Raveningham Hall, I think it is. I can't remember. I haven't done a scenario with it yet, and a reskinned 7F into Somerset Dorset Prussian Blue. position on the brake. Nope. That was probably a bad idea. Now the brakes are quite slow to act, I must say. So yeah, at some point I'm going to need to get the, the full RSC Class 33 pack so far, the only class 33 pack I've got is the 
Iron Horse House ones, and um, yeah, less said about those, the better. So, okay, we're on a hill. We're on ill. It 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 be steep. It be steep. This ill. It goes like that. Um, according to this, I'm going to be late. Well, that's just preposterous. I can't possibly be late. Why on earth is it timetabled? That's what I want to know. Why on earth is it timetabled? That's just ridiculous shenanigans. It's also looking like quite an overcast day uh, over the West Somerset today. Although today, um, in what in beautiful Shropshire, it's actually very sunny. It's very pleasant. I've got my washing on the line. That's drying quite nicely. Um, and all in all, I've got a sunny mood as well because just today, I've just been accepted for a job. So I'm very happy about that. Uh, after six months of unemployment, I'm about to join the land of the living again. So I'm very pleased about that. Very pleased. Um, yeah, I'll be working at a pub or car pub carvery type thing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Working in a kitchen. Uh, which is what I've done before. And there we go. Look at. Oh, no, we haven't. I thought we'd made up some time, but we haven't. It's all an illusion. It's all an illusion. It's in the mind. And it's kind of unusual for me driving a class this. Well, I wouldn't say unusual. Surprisingly fitting, I think, is the apt way of describing it. Because uh, I live um, just... 50 miles outside of Birmingham, there and thereabouts. Uh, possibly a bit less, actually, uh, thinking about it. But um, that's where all of the Class 33s uh, were built, as, along with the Class 26s and Class 27s. Uh, 26s and 27s being the muckrats, they were allocated up into Scotland. And they are by far and away one of my favourite diesel classes. There's something about the look of them. They just look charming. Uh, I think I'm going to get it there sooner than what the game's telling me I'm going to get there for. But um, I'm still not going to be on time. So as long as I'm there within 30 seconds of when I should have arrived, uh, then I should be okay. In the cab. That looks suspiciously like Comic Sans. I hate Comic Sans. Comic Sans make, makes me angry. Makes me very, very angry. Okay, there is Mr. Man. Not yet, not yet. Ah, uh, no. I did boob, I did boob. I wasn't supposed to break there, I was supposed to break there. Where the other men are. So yeah, I thought I'd try with the webcam today. Um, just to see how it goes, I will do for the next two episodes. I instinctively press T. <laughs> this is not a thing where you press T for. You literally just have to stop here and wait for a few minutes. Look at that. One minute late. One minute late. I'm going to be penalised for this. 
great nation. Hello, Mr. Man. You look a bit spassy. Yeah, no, you don't care, mate. The way your neck does that is very disconcerting. Right, I've got to go now. Nice talking to you, Mr. Man. There's one group of men drawn of your approach, and then there's another group of men where you're supposed to stop at. There's three groups of men. We'll go full ball thrash. Uh, let's try and make up for lost time. Which is impossible when the line speed is 25 miles an hour. <sighs> This is why I don't generally do an awful lot of driving on heritage routes, because um, I don't like being stuck at 25 miles an hour. I like to go fast. Okay, well, according to this, I'm actually going to arrive early. Or on time, at least. This is the thing, you don't actually get point. You don't get additional points for being early at any of the stops. Also, I'd much rather actually have a message at the end saying that they're done. So that means I know when to move off without having to regard to this thing. I don't really like using the HUD, so I've got myself used to driving the F5 HUD, as you can see in the uh, left-hand corner of the screen there. I much prefer using that, because that actually gives me an accurate, um, you know, it gives me more accurate numbers to go off. And also, it's a bit of, it's, it's a challenge as well. Like, if you occasionally have a go at, like, just, just driving with nothing, for the F5 HUD. Um, that's really interesting. And I suppose the next step from that would be driving with no HUD at all. HUD. So yeah, this is what my ugly mug looks like in real life, uh, folks. Hope you're not put off, hope you're not eating your tea, and you just see this and gone, Oh my god, that's repulsive! I hope that you haven't done that. Uh, I really hope you haven't. It's not my intention to make people throw up their dinner. Have some vape for your trouble. I'm a, I must look like such a dick right now. <laughs> I've got the trilby, I've got the vape. I already get people accusing me of being a hipster, but I'm no such thing, I can assure you. No such thing. I just like old things. I just like old things and I like doing my own thing. Good, we're making up time. So I just have to keep going between the notches on the throttle. In fact, I don't even think that the th throttle is properly notched. Like, no, it's not really. It's not really properly notched. Um, yeah. When that doesn't open, sugar, 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 sugar. sugar. Could have lost all manner of points there. Right, 
right, so we're still climbing up. One in one hundred. And there is our stop up there. This is really pernickety when you're having to sit here and literally manage to throttle, you know. You, you can't see it right now. I, I haven't got um, a rail driver or anything like that. I literally just use my keyboard controls. And it's just gradual press A, gradual press D, just, you know, flicking between A and D all the time. So just doing that. Um, which I suppose is where the challenge comes from with a diesel operator scenario. Uh, on a hot, on a heritage route like this, not so much on the Great Central because on the Great Central you do have a, a forty limit. Uh, the Great Central is uh, a preserved main line, so as a result, um, has a higher speed restriction. Why does my train because it's going? Oh, the dirty block shadows. They only appear two of the wagon. <laughs> they only affect two of the wagons, though. Two time. I just find the cab too quiet. I'll just stick to the cab, uh, the head out view. Like that. Just that. Right, there is Mr. Man. So let's knock off the throttle. I think you'll find it's Mr. Men. Hello, Mr. Men. So, no, I think that just was Mr. Man. But um, that warns me of the upcoming site, I imagine. And, yeah, there's more men there. So that's where I'll start breaking. And because I'm coasting on a 1 in 100 hill... Gravity is doing most of the work for me. Brakes are probably a little bit too keen there. But look at that, we arrived early. We're not going to get a bonus for that. Even though it says, ooh, timeliness, but timeliness, there. Yeah. Timeliness bonus. It says timeliness bonus, there you go, but it's not really a bonus. We're groovy. Thrash. Lots of thrash. Double check. Three miles. And we're apparently set there. Set to arrive early. Right, we just I think we just got our field divert there, which is a point during a, a diesel electric's power range, it'll actually get a spike in power as the engine revs up. So if you look in the F5 HUD there, 
below the brake pipe pe uh, pressure you can see the ammeter that's how much um, uh, current you're generating and that changes by the RPM because effectively a diesel electric locomotive it's effectively just a giant generator on wheels that's really what it is it's a big generator on wheels we've got 20 limit coming up as well got loads of flange squeal as well Look at that, that's a nice view. Quite like a nice view like that. Right. The long and mm. well, well dude, bring the throttle way down so that means I can gradually start to slow for the speed limit. Actually, saying that now, I think I'm actually slowing down a little too much. So we'll open up some throttle again. And I'm thinking of this all the time, even when I'm quiet. I'm thinking this all the time, you know. Oh, that's slowing down a little bit. So a little bit more throttle just to bring it up a little bit. You know, working out where it is to slow down. So in regards to Train Simulator, it can sometimes be a bit of a puzzle game in a way. Because, of course, it works that bit of the brain, which teaches you to problem solve. And I love doing that, especially with, um, uh, what's it, uh, shunting scenarios. When you're doing a shunting scenario, you're thinking, OK, I need to get those wagons there, bring them up here, and so on and so forth. And you start thinking that, and it, um, it exercises the brain, which I think is pretty cool actually. Right, so that distance is telling us it's clear ahead. So I imagine the 20 limit is just past this bridge here. Yeah, because there's the signals that start it. I can see that the next signal ahead of this one is at red. So we'll leave it to coast. Look at those lucky souls over there. They get to live right next to a railway line. They're so lucky. I'll give them a little toot. Just as I suspected, it's a red signal. As we arrive into Croke and Heathfield. Right, let's. gradually start to slow down, work our way up to the signal. Now I'm seeing that the next signal after that, that's red as well, so I presume that there's going to be a train coming up. Oh, look at that. You know what? I hate being right all the time. <laughs> Let's have a look at this. I think this is Raven Hall. Yep, it is. Look at that. Raven in the hall. <laughs>
I've gone. Uh, that's just reminded me. I'm going to have to have a little look at a Great Western engine at some point because I haven't covered the Great Western uh, Railway yet. Six episodes in, and I've yet to cover the Great Western. Because I've covered uh, LNR, LMS technically. Um, well, there we go. Right. But yeah, I've covered LNER, Southern, uh, technically Midland Railway and British Railways, but I've yet to sample some Great Western. Okay, we're alright. Uh, this is on an uphill bit, so we can pretty much just coast for this next bit, I think. limit in here but then it goes up to a 25 so we'll just leave it to coast good right how far have we got to go about two miles now I'll start to notch up the brakes oh there's there is a running position what I thought 17 inches of braking would have been enough, but evidently not. 16. 16 seems to be keeping us constant right now. No, it doesn't. I haven't got up to 17 inches again. And so this is really interesting exercise on throttle and brake control. I like going quickly. I think there's another challenge to going quickly, particularly with a steam engine. But with a diesel, the challenge is, is that when you're like in a, a, speed, a speed restriction, it's maintaining that low speed restriction all the way through. It's a balance of um, throttle and brake. With 16 inches, we're keeping uh, in the threshold, you know, of about 25 miles an hour, so. I could kill my housemate sometimes, I really could. Um, so, yeah, I probably should have told them that I was recording and that, uh, yeah. This is why I don't really like room rentals, I get knocks on my door constantly, so. Privacy is dead. Let's carry on our merry way. Thankfully, I wasn't halfway through saying something because otherwise I'd be hooked. Mile and a bit of coasting. Yay! We're still slowing down. Still slowing down. Okay. Think we're there. Yeah. Yeah, it's all under control now. It's all under control. 
It's all under control. I'm an expert driver. So yeah, I would like to apologise for that little uh, break in filming just now, but um, well, if someone knocks on my door, what can I do? Could have been someone important. It wasn't, but it could have. So we should be coming up to the site pretty soon, so we'll start breaking. Ah. I see a high-vis jacket in the distance. Right, so I presume that's where I need to... Oh, that's where I need to finish breaking. Oh! Balls. Full service. Early, only just, only just early, but early nonetheless. As all the line side stops complete, once into Bishop's Lydiard, we want to stable the train off the line. Okie dokie. I know I'm being horribly inefficient and rough by um, using full throttle starts, but quite frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Downgrade now, so yeah, the brake it says running, but that's not really running, it's basically release. That's what it is. It's just in, in this, uh, in the case of this loco, it is just simply um, a different version of release that's all it is it doesn't it doesn't actually hold the vacuum in the brakes there we go we're holding speed. <laughs> it's 
It's not a train, it's a musical instrument. That's what that is. We've got a green signal. It's green. It complements my diesel, lovely. Dearie me. Dearie, dearie, dearie me. Let me just take it nice and gently now. Nice and gently, the bishop's an idiot. There we go, right. So in what, uh, one in 100 grade, so keep the brake on just so I can Maintain 15. So this route, uh, the West Somerset route, I came to have it thanks to uh, my good friend Christian uh, Rasmussen. For, uh, or Epic Bonastard on YouTube, there'll be a link to his uh, channel in the description down there somewhere. Uh, so feel free to give him a watch. He uh, records races, does live streams, and does all kinds of things uh, relating to Train Simulator and maybe even a couple of other things as well. Um, yeah, nice guy, nice guy. He's a um, uh, good laugh to be around. Uh, with as are most of my friends actually <laughs> it's funny that isn't it how uh, I say that my friends are nice people to be around with there we go and so we take it nice and gently into here No need threat for any throttle or anything, we're just going to roll in to where we needed. I was saying that though, it's just turned into a hill. It's a very hilly route this one, very hilly. points and just wondering do we get any points do we get any points for getting here do we get any points no right reverse it into the compound well we're probably not getting any points i don't see the point why
check to see if uh, compound one. Yep, that's where it's supposed to go. So we just reverse the train up there, uncouple it, and uh, then I guess we put the engine somewhere else. Take it nice and gentle. Don't leave the old one pack first, to be fair. Sometimes when you go into sidings like this, they change the speed limit down to five. So that's what I'm working with here. Being very noisy. Noisy, noisy wagons. Very noisy. Shh. Just need to move this into the shunt, and I think that will be the scenario done. Now, I'm curious, does the Lego brake actually work? It does, Lego brake does work quite well as it goes. I like using Loco Brake. It was since I started using the Q6, I've um, started really learning how to use the Loco Brake more. So I'm guessing that because this is timetabled, uh, this is where we make up our last bunch of points. Sorry if I keep scratching my nose, keep rubbing my nose. Mm. It's itchy. It's itchy, very itchy. Right. That's our last instruction. Okay, there we go. Well, guys, uh, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you like this episode and would like to see more, then please feel free to comment, like, and subscribe, though you don't have to. Um, your feedback is always appreciated, and suggestions for future videos are always welcome. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Ta-ra for now.